Hello, let's examine the ground reaction force and its path during the stance phase of the gait. At the initial contact, lateral calcaneus contacts the ground. Thus, the ground reaction force is posterior to the ankle joint. The knee is extended, so it lands anterior to the knee and also anterior to the hip. At foot flat, the biggest change in range of motion is at the knee joint, because it goes into flexion. Thus, the ground reaction force is posterior to the ankle and anterior to the hip, but posterior to the knee joint. Mid stance is analogous to a neutral stance where the ground reaction force and line of gravity have coincidental action lines. Now, the body weight is transferred over the foot. This creates a change in ground reaction force at each joint. The ground reaction force now moves anterior to the ankle, anterior to the knee joint, and posterior to the hip. Following mid-stance, the ground reaction force does not change for the ankle or the hip. It continues to travel anterior to the ankle and posterior to the hip while the only change that occurs is a toe-off for the knee joint. Because the knee moves into flexion, ground reaction force moves posterior to the joint line. Here is a quick summary. For the ankle, it's posterior, posterior, then anterior, anterior, anterior. For the hip, it's exactly the opposite. Anterior, anterior, posterior, posterior, posterior. And finally, for the knee joint, it's anterior, posterior, anterior, anterior posterior hope you found this video helpful if you did give it a like